What is up boys and welcome back to some more VGC 2020 I did one battle off camera and was able to win so But I haven't battled since so rating probably Oh no, six, uh, 662, not bad 662 with the G Max Lapras So hopefully today I can use G Max Lapras I don't think I used it yes in yesterday's uh, video Yeah, I do not think I used the G Max Lapras in, the, in yesterday's video Hit that rose music. Though. No, 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 no. Rose music. There we go. All right, so you found someone with a Franked 40. Okay. Grimmsnarl, Dragapult, Sun Team with Incineroar, Togekiss, Nine Tails, and, and Venusaur. Okay. Screens, T Wave on Grimmsnarl. He's got nine tails for Venusaur, so Trick Room would look pretty dope right here. They might lead off with Dragapult though. Yeah, they might lead off with Dragapult. Shoot. Okay, I, actually, Venusaur is kind of a problem because they can just lead off with it. Yeah, Venusaur is kind of a problem because it can just lead off with it and they can just spore whatever they want. Bro, I don't even know what to lead off with. We could just go Dragapult and hit him on top with T-Tar in the back. Follow it up with Snorlax. I mean, I could have I could have gone for the Trick Room too, but I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna lead off like Venusaur, maybe Dragapult too, so they can just uh, max Phantasm the uh, the Dust Cloth slot. So I just want to go Dragapult. So they go with their Dragapult. I could just oh, actually no, they're gonna go for a Dragon type move with Dragapult. Nope, they're going Grimmsnarl, and they are going with uh, Incineroar. Doki, so uh, let's see what can I do here. I could just go for a max airstream into that thing, and we can switch on to Tyranitar right here. I'm just gonna data max max airstream the uh, Grim Snarl, switch into Tyranitar. Tyranitar that speed boost, but I'm pretty sure this Grimstar has got to have like T-Wave or something. Yep, T-Wave, there it is. His Dragapult. He's probably gonna switch out Grimstar into Incineroar, or he might just switch out the Dragapult into Incineroar. So. We're just gonna max Airstream and Rock Slide here. I feel like he might just he might just switch back out into Incineroar or Dynamax. Yeah, back out into Incineroar. So we're gonna get some damage off on the Incineroar. He's gonna get probably a Reflect going. If he has the screens on the Grimmsnarl. Yeah, he's got he's got screens. He hasn't used his Dynamax either, so that kind of sucks. K 
can't afford Dragapult to get paralyzed either. Okay, perfect. I think I kind of want to go for Max Phantasm to Lord of Defense, but I think we got to get another speed boost going because we have to be able to outspeed his Dragapult. Yeah, and just Rock Slide again. He's gonna fake out. He's gonna light screen. Okay, he's not gonna fake out with. He's not fake. He's not going for fake out with Incineroar. I should should just probably gone for Max Airstream into the Incineroar slot right there. Yeah, I should have gone for the max airstream into the Incineroar slot. Yeah, the Grim Snarl at this point wasn't even a problem. I think I messed up right there. Should have just gone. <laughs> I should have just gone for the Incineroar slot. Incineroar, uh, the Grim Snarl wasn't even a problem anymore because he's just gonna U-turn my Tyranitar now. We would have knocked it out. Now he's gonna be able to bring in. He's gonna be. He's gonna be able to bring in somewhere back out, and um, intimidate freaking Tyranitar once again. But we do outspeed his uh, Dragapult anyway. Tyranitar does outspeed it, so we can still double up into it. And Incineroar is pretty much almost dead. That's probably... Oh, no, he's... Oh, my God, he's bringing out Togepi. God damn it. Of course you're bringing out the Togekiss. And we're already at minus two attack with Titar. No, minus one attack, but he's going to bring out... He's got to bring out the Incineroar again. He's got to bring out Incineroar again. <clears throat> Get Phantom Force. Do we rock slide right here? I feel like he's just gonna follow me anyway. Yeah, I feel like he's just gonna follow me anyway. I'm just, I'm just gonna go for rock slide and Phantom Force. We should have attacked the Incineroar slot. Okay, we're gonna knock out Incineroar anyway. We are gonna be at minus uh, two attack though. Yeah, I should have just attacked the Incineroar slot. He hasn't Dynamaxed either, so... Yeah, that's probably weakness policy, uh, Togekiss. At least Tyranitar would have only been at minus one attack right now if we knocked out the Incineroar. Grimstar wasn't even a problem, and we're gonna actually we're gonna miss something. I think that was probably Incineroar. It was Incineroar. Of course we are. Yeah, and it's weakness policy, uh, Togekiss. Oh, he went for the Dragapult slot. Let's go. His Incineroar is gonna go down here though. Yeah, Incineroar's gonna go down. Still not looking good though. Still not looking good. I should have I should have knocked out that Incineroar a long time ago, and he would have been left with the Grimmsnarl that I don't think can really do anything. It, can, it can't T wave Tyranitar. <clears throat> and all we can do is uh, Rock Slide now. I could shoot for the Crunch. All we have left is Hitmontop and Snorlax. I think I'd rather, yeah, I think I'd rather protect our Ryman's right here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta stall out that uh, freaking Togekiss right now. You know he's gonna get a max airstream up right now. We're still weak. He's gonna get the speed boost, but 
We're at plus three speed with Tyranitar. We still got speed the to Togekiss. We still got speed the to Togekiss. Hitmontop just doesn't do anything here. Pretty much all I can do is helping hand. Yeah, pretty much all I can do is helping hand crunch the Dragapult. Helping hand. Yeah, we wouldn't have taken that damage from that U-turn. Yeah, all I can do is helping hand crunch. I think the Dragapult might outspeed us now, right? If they're like max speed. We would have been at minus one attack right now, so this probably won't even KO. Oh, we still have speed. Perfect. Nah, we would have KO'd. We would have KO'd. I should have knocked out the Incineroar. I should have knocked out the Incineroar. Yeah, we would have knocked out the Dragapult right there. I could have gone Trick Room too. Actually, I should have gone Trick Room. Yeah, that's GG. I should have gone... I either should have gone Trick Room or I should have just knocked out the Incineroar right there. That would have... Tyranitar would have just been at minus one attack and we would have knocked out the Dragapult right there. But he still had a plus two Togekiss anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But he went he went for a he went for max airstream so I think he was attacking the he was attacking the hitmon top slot. So we actually would have still had um We we would have still had a uh, Tyranitar alive right there, only at minus one attack. And we still would have outsped. Yeah, th I think that that was the play, boys. That was the play to go after the in center of our slot right there because he was he went for the max airstream into the hip on top slot right there So we would have actually knocked okay if tyranitar was still at only minus one attack with life orb We would have knocked out that dragapult right there and it would have been Him on top would have gone down because of the max airstream Him on top would have gone down and then it would have been snorlax and tyranitar Against the togekiss and Dynamax would have been over for the Togekiss, right? Yeah, Dynamax would have been over for the Togekiss. So I could have protected Tyranitar the following turn. We still would have outsped it because we're, we, we were at plus three speed with Tyranitar. They, were only, they, they would have only been at plus one speed with Togekiss. No, plus two speed. Yeah, yeah. Plus two speed with Togekiss. And we would have been able to uh, protect Tyranitar, go for a Rock Slide with Snorlax or Facade. facade. Get some damage. And in the following turn, we go for Rock Slide with Tyranitar and another Facade. We might have been able to KO it. I'm, I'm not sure. But let's see. My opponent is rocking a weird looking team. I think Shinotic does get Weakness Policy. Not, not Weakness Policy. Uh, Spore. It does get Spore. Hmm. They might lead off with it too. He might try and shut down our trick room. Let's see. We'll just go Lapras. So Lapras and Dusclops. We'll have Snorlax. Wanna bring him on top here? Or Dragapult. You know what? I think we'll bring Dragapult. Yeah, we'll bring Dragapult. We, we've got Dusclops, so we can Will-O-Wisp Excadrill, we can Will-O-Wisp the, the Dracovish if they bring it. But most likely they're going to bring Togekiss, Excadrill, Shinotic maybe. I'm pretty sure Shinotic gets Spore, right? I'm pretty sure it gets Spore. It looks like a Pokemon that gets Spore. And I haven't I haven't seen anybody run Shinotic, actually. Wait, am I even seeing that right? Is that how you call that thing? Okay, he's going with uh, Togekiss and uh, Togemaru. I don't even know how you spell that thing. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, it's with two eyes. What the hell? Shinotic. Okay, they didn't bring it. It doesn't look like they brought it. Okay, so they have uh, Togekiss, Togedemaru. Conkeldor has to be in the back because I do have Tyranitar. And they probably have Excadrill or maybe Dracovish. So let's see. Do I want to freeze dry and activate another potential freaking... Uh, another potential... Uh, weakness policy? Or do I want to max Geyser, the Togedemaru, and the Trick Room? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna trick room and we're gonna max Geyser. There has to be weakness policy, Togekiss. Honestly, I don't wanna attack it. I don't wanna activate its weakness policy. I wonder what Togedemaru was going for. Is he just going to go for the Nuzzle and Lapras and hope for... Uh... Paras? Go for Nuzzle? He's just going to Volt Switch. He activated his own weakness policy! Okay... Volt Switch, Toga tomorrow into a Weakness Policy Togus. What's up? Is Weakness Policy Togus coming back? This is the second one I run into. This is the second one that I run into. Ooh, Kong Kelder's about to take a Max Geyser. This has to be going into uh, Dust Pops. But Dustcross is insanely bulky, my guy. And you just gave your Conkeldor a plus one speed boost. So Lapper shut out speed now. Well, I well I think it's a safe play now to just attack <laughs> attack the Togus because freaking he got up his own weakness policy already, so there's no point. So I guess uh, weakness this I haven't seen weakness policy Togus in a while, actually. It's usually just Lapras now, Tyranitar still, Rhyperior. Usually everybody's just running Scope Lens Togekiss now. But my guy over here is running the weakness policy set. So what do we do here? What do we do? What do we do? Could ally switch. And attack Togekiss. I think I'm gonna go for ally switch. We're gonna lose uh Dust Clops right here, though. Actually, Conkeldor is also going to outspeed my Snorlax now. I mean, Snorlax is going to outspeed Conkeldor now in the Trick Room because he went for the Max Airstream. At least we're gonna get the veil up now. Two back to back weakness policy Togekiss, though. Dream Bunch. Was he. Did this. Did this guy just read the ally switch play? I think he just read the ally switch play. Why would you go for a drain punch into the dust club slot? But you activated our weakness policy actually, so. Thanks for that. Well, obviously we cannot bring Dragapult out. We have to bring out Snorlax. And our boy Snorlax is gonna get destroyed right now. We took that Drain Punch pretty well, though. Actually, I could Rock Slide right here, and we can... Uh, we can Max Geyser the Togekiss. 
I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna max Geyser. We're gonna rock slide and max Geyser the Tokus. Uh, does that KO range? We have the rain up. We're at plus two. Snorlax is about to take a perfect. We're about to take a drain punch to the face though. Move for Lapras again. That's a crit. That's a crit, my guy. That's not a crit? Yeah, it's not a crit. Never mind. I thought that was a crit. That, that looked like it did a lot more damage. Do I belly drum with Snorlax here? Uh, here comes the spore. Here comes the spore. Uh, where are we at? We still have. Wait, wait! Missy Terrain! Oh my god, he screwed himself over! He screwed himself over! He screwed himself over! Missy Terrain is up! And we still have two turns left to trick room, so I'm just gonna belly drum. If we miss this Hydro Pump. That's uh, that's gonna suck. That's really gonna suck. Or we just shoot for the super the freeze dry. If he attacks Lapras again, though, yeah, I'm just gonna belly jump. We're gonna hydro pump the Kalkilder. We survive with four HP. He didn't go for Mach Punch. Please, Lapras, please, please, please. There's a reason why I don't like running Hydro Pump, bro, and it's because of the accuracy. This Snorlax is deadly now. We have a deadly Snorlax on the field, Lapras. We just need you to connect this uh, Hydro Pump. Oh, I love you, Lapras. There's a reason why I don't like running Hydro Pump, bro. The lowest accuracy moves that I will run will pretty much just be like 90 accuracy moves, 90, 95, so like Draco Meteor, Heat Wave, stuff like that, Rock Slide. I don't like running 85 accuracy moves, bro. I do not like running that. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna shoot for a Rock Slide, even though he's probably gonna fake us out anyway. Uh, even if I protect right here, even if I protect Lapras, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to protect anyway. Togo tomorrow has to attack something the following turn. We outspeed the Shinon take now that Trick going to be gone. I just have to be able to get this Parish Song up before I get knocked out. Kind of wish I was running Thunder on Lapras. I've seen people running Thunder on Lapras, so when they get the rain up... Yeah, he's going to fake out some rain. Okay? And Dazzling Gleam. All right, so we outspeed... We outspeed... Um. Yeah, Shinotic is not a threat. Like, at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Parish Song. Yeah, we're just gonna Rock Slide. And we're gonna shoot for the Parish Song. Even though he's probably gonna attack Lapras here anyway. Pretty much the Parish Song just guarantees that we're gonna win. Even though the battle's pretty much over. Yeah, he's going for Iron Head. He still can't spore. I'm pretty sure she knows to get spore, right? Oh, you're actually running that. You're actually running that. Strength sap. And the veil's gone now. Was that the... Was that Veil or the Missy Terrain? No, Missy Terrain should still be up, right? No, Missy Terrain is gone! Missy Terrain is gone, boys. Facade. That thing. We're gonna knock out Toga tomorrow. I mean, I'm pretty. I mean, I just don't see what else he can really do here. Battle's over anyway. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he's going for Nuzzle. It's Dragapult. No, no. Sp Wait, does it might? Okay, yeah, we knocked it out. 
Wait, does it get freaking? I'm pretty sure it does get um, spore, right, boys? Yeah, we just facade. The reason why I facade in the storm is just in case we get burned. I'm pretty sure. All right, he's gonna forfeit. Perfect. Uh, Shinotic. You do get spore, right? Spore. Yeah, you get spore. Spore. VGC 2020, validate. Right. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, Shinotic gets spore, but I guess he didn't have it right there, or he wasn't. He wasn't going for it. I'm pretty sure he had spore on that, Shinotic. We just never saw it. Wait, did my Snorlax... I think my... I wasn't even paying attention because I was looking up Shinotic, but I think Snorlax outsped it anyway. Wait, what's your base speed, Shinotic? Your base 30. Okay, you're the same as Snorlax. That was probably a speed tie, or he's running a... Uh, he's running a, a negative, uh, or maybe no IVs in that Shinotic, because my Snorlax is base 30 speed as well, and I am not running a negative nature on it. But anyway, boys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.